Hello everyone, I am Sahana Prasad from Department of Commerce, Gopal Swami PU College, Mysore. Welcome to Accountancy class. In today's session, let's start with a new topic from Chapter 4, that is death of a partner. A partnership will come to an end on the death of a partner. Let's assume that there are three partners, A, B and C. Suppose if A expires, then their partnership will come to an end. But partnership firm will not come to an end. That will be continued by the remaining partners B and C. And if the firm continues its business, the amount payable to the deceased partner is required to be calculated and that amount should be given to executors. Who are executors? Executors are the legal representatives of the deceased partner. Executors andre our the legal representative yar irtare ivag yaru sathog irtaro avaru mane avaru agirbodu athwa avaru makkalu agirbodu legal age yarge adu serbeko avarge naavu executors anta karitivi in this chapter you can expect 6 marks question in the final exam in the problem they will give they will be given balance sheet and you will have all the adjustments related to that so now let me show you how to do a problem. First I will explain with the format. In the problem they will be given balance sheet and adjustments regarding deceased partner capital account. You have to prepare deceased partner capital account. So here is the format. Deceased partner capital account format is particulars amount, particulars amount, debit and credit. First step is you have to write the ba by balance brought down that is this is the capital of the deceased partner. This amount it will be given in the liability side of the balance sheet. So you have to write this amount here. Next is reserve fund by reserve fund. Reserve fund it will also be given in the balance sheet. That amount you should multiply by his share. Let us assume that uh, A and uh, A, B and C are partners. Suppose the reserve fund is uh, 20,000. Their ratio is 2 is to 2 is to 1. If A expires, then his share will be 2 by 5. So the amount what you get is you should write it in reserve fund. You should write only his share. Next is Profit and loss account. This is the undistributed profit. So this, this also you should calculate in the same manner as you have calculated reserve fund. Multiply by his share. Next is goodwill. Goodwill will be given in the problem. Average profit will be given. You know the formula. Uh, on the basis of average period method you have calculated uh, goodwill is equal to uh, average profit into number of years of purchase. You will get one amount. Then uh, after getting the value of goodwill, you should give his share. So that amount you should write it here. Next is by profit and loss suspense account. So this is accrued profit. Accrued profit means the, the, that is a profit which you have earned it, but you have not received it. That is accrued profit. That profit you should write it here. Let us, uh, let me give you an example. Suppose if the profit is 10,000. And if A has expired on 30th 9, 2019, as you know, the accounting year starts from 1-4-2019. He was alive only for 6 months. So if the profit is 10,000, you should calculate for 6 months. April, May, June, July, August, September into 6 by 12 into his share. Suppose it is assumed that his share is 2 by 5. So how much amount you will get here? You should write it in p and l suspense account. Next is interest on capital. Interest on capital also you should calculate in the same manner. They will be given the uh, percentage amount into time. Time means suppose if, if he was alive only for 6 months into 6 by 12. That is interest on capital. Next is salary and commission. The salary and commission also you should calculate on the basis of the uh, number of months he was alive. Uh, for example, uh, let us assume that the annual uh, commission 
of uh, A is uh, 12,000 annual commission. He was alive only for 6 months. So 12,000 into 6 by 12. That amount you should write it here by salary or commission. So these are the uh, various uh, uh, by like balance, kept brought down, reserve fund, profit and loss. All these we should record on the credit side of deceased partner capital account. Now let us see what are the uh, items we should record on the debit side. First one is two drawings. Drawings amount will be given in the problem itself. So you should record the full amount of drawings. In the same manner, sometimes interest on drawings amount directly they will be given in the problem. You can directly write it here. And suppose if you have to calculate interest on drawings, the rate will be given. And you have to record the time also. Suppose if it was alive only for 6 months, into 6 by 12 you have to do. You will get the amount of interest on drawings. Next is, suppose if there, there is any loss of undistributed loss, that amount will be given in the asset side of the balance sheet. You should record that and you should give his share, deceased partner share. Next is in the same manner, revaluation loss will also be given in the problem that you, you should directly record it in the debit side of the deceased partner by giving deceased partner share. So now after recording all these, you should balance this account, debit and credit. So whatever balance you get, that amount will be transferred to executor's account. You know what is executor or who is an executor executor is a legal representative of the deceased partner so our partner satwad mele onge eshtu duddu firm kodbeku aa amount il barat so this is deceased partner capital account let's start with the problem in this problem you can see a b and c were partners in a firm sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 2 is to 2 is to 1 on 31st March 2013, their balance sheet was as under. In this problem, they have given the balance sheet, assets and liabilities. You can see on the liability side, they have given credit as general reserve and capitals of A, B and C. And in the asset side, you can see various assets like building, machinery, stock, patents, data and cash. A died on 30th 9th 2013. 13. It was agreed between his executors and the surviving partners that goodwill to be valued at two years of purchase of the average profits of the last four years, which were 2009-10 with 13,000, 10-11 was 12,000, 11-12 was 20,000 and 12-13 was 15,000. Second adjustment was A's share of profit on revaluation on his death was given as 1000 and profit of the year 2012-13 to be taken as the base for calculating accrued profit. Next adjustment is interest on capital to be provided at 10% per annum. Here you have to prepare A's capital account. Now let's start with the problem. First you have to write as A's capital account because here A is the deceased partner. First, we have to write deceased partner capital account that is given in the liability side of the balance sheet. You can see in the problem they have given that capital of deceased partner is 30,000. You should record it as by balance brought down that is 30,000. Next is a next they have given is general reserve you can see in the balance sheet they have given general reserve what is the amount of general reserve general reserve amount is 10,000 here A's share is 2 is to 2 is to 1 there are three partners A, B and C here A's share comes to 2 by 5 so general reserve amount is 10,000 you should give his share it is 2 by 5 that comes to 4,000 so by general reserve the amount is 4,000 next is uh, you have to calculate goodwill 
for the calculation of goodwill they have given information goodwill to be valued at two years purchase of the average profit of last four years they have given the profit of the last four years that is they have given 13,000 and 12,000 20,000 and 15,000 you know the formula to calculate goodwill goodwill is average profit into number of years of purchase this is the formula first let us calculate average profit if I add all this you will get 60,000 so if I divide it by 4 I'll get 15,000. 15,000 is the average profit. To calculate goodwill, the formula is average profit into number of years of purchase. They have given 2 years purchase. So, 15,000 into 2 comes to 30,000. So, this is the value of goodwill. Now, we have to give deceased partner his share. His share means deceased partner's share is 20, 30,000 into 2 by 5. So that comes to 12,000. So by goodwill, his share is 12,000. Next is uh, they have given A's share of profit on revaluation on his death is 1,000. They have given his share, so we can directly record by revaluation account, by revaluation account, 1000. Next, they have given the profit of the year 2012-13 to be taken as base for calculating accrued profit. In the problem, you can see they have given the profit of 2012-13 is 15,000. Profit 2012-13 profit they have given is 15,000. Now, we have to calculate his share and till the date of death because he was alive only for 6 months 15,000 into 6 by 12 why we are doing 6 by 12 because he was alive only for 6 months from April to September and you have to give his share that is 2 by 5 so uh, his profit now what the firm has to give him it comes to 3,000 you should record it as profit and loss suspense account. This is the accrued profit. Accrued profit means they have earned it but they have not received it. That we have to record. So this is profit and loss suspense account. Next is interest on capital to be provided at 10% per annum. So uh, now here we have to calculate A's interest on capital. A's capital is 30,000 that they have given in the problem. A's capital is 30,000 and the rate of interest is 10%. We should calculate till the date of his death that is 6 by 12. It comes to 1,500. So, by interest on capital, it comes to 1500. So, now we have recorded all the items which they have given in the problem. Now, let us balance the account. If I total credit side, I'll get 51,500. 
in this problem they have not given drawings or interest on drawings so there is no need to uh, record anything on the debit side of the account so the amount i should transfer to executors account so this much amount the executors will receive on behalf of a so the firm has to pay 51500 to the executors account so this is the problem which you can expect for 6 marks in the annual examination thank you